In this extra little video for Arpeggiator, I wanted to show you how you could use it really creatively for percussion, as well as just for music and for triggering pianos and synths and stuff. Um, I've got here a percussion impulse part, and this is just one of the percussion uh, presets that you get with the live library. Percussion one, it's got some woodblock, shakers, cowbells. And um, what I've done, I've programmed up a little clip, just one bar, and I've used just one sound for now the woodblock sound, and I've programmed those notes in, but some of the notes are longer than others. So some are 2 sixteenths, some are 3 sixteenths. And I'm gonna take those notes now, all of them, and just use the Alt key, just to copy up and play some other notes alongside that woodblock. Let's play that th those two clips together now. So that sounds okay, but all those notes are playing one on top of the other. Let's arpeggiate them now. And now the different style of arpeggio that I program in will determine which sounds out of impulse play. Let's try some other ones. Now what you tend to end up with here is something completely different to what you would have programmed. And it's in these longer notes where we're getting multiple sounds playing. Let's swing this. And that can sound really lovely on a percussion part playing alongside drums that have a straight groove. Let's try some different styles. Now of course I can go into the impulse preset now. And just change how those sounds are playing back. So all of a sudden we come up with a really nice percussion part for drums, using arpeggiator to determine which sounds from impulse play and their groove.